There were so many suspects, FBI agents needed a bus. Leaders of some of New Jersey's most prominent towns and rabbis from New York and New Jersey being led in handcuffs. This case is not about politics. It is certainly not about religion. It is about a shocking betrayal of the public trust. These are two nearly separate investigations. Their common link, what the government calls a cooperating witness, reportedly this man, Solomon Dweck, who became an informant two years ago after being accused of a $50 million bank fraud. In what reads like a Sopranos episode, he wore a wire for the FBI, handing out envelopes stuffed with cash to public officials in parking lots and laundering $3 million with the rabbis. Hoboken Mayor Peter Camerano, sworn in only three weeks ago, is accused of accepting $25,000 in cash. He told the cooperating witness, quote, you're going to be treated like a friend. And of the people who oppose him, quote, they get ground into powder. Politicians willingly put themselves up for sale. They existed in an ethics-free zone. Separately, the cooperating witness gave what he said were illegal gains to the rabbis who allegedly hid the money using charitable organizations. One suspect even offered to find a human kidney for a transplant. This is all part of a 10-year public corruption investigation that has already yielded two other high-profile indictments. Officials say some politicians don't seem to be getting the message. New Jersey's corruption problem is one of the worst, if not the worst, in the nation. Notoriety that no state wants. Kelly Wallace, CBS News, Newark.